hey guys my name is sarib and in this video we are going to create this and if you are a beginner you can watch this video also because i will tell you everything step by step you can download my all the images free link in the description below and there is a one more thing i want to discuss with you guys like look at this report it says that my viewers are not subscribing my channel like am i doing anything wrong if not so why are you not subscribing this channel so this is your responsibility to help this channel so what you are waiting for let's open photoshop so this is mine i have designed this already so first of all we are going to file and click on new to take a new project and here you can give the name and choose pixels with 1080 height 1080 resolution 300 and color mode rgb color that's all click on create here we have a perfect size for social media now first we will put here the image so this is the website i have downloaded the image and i will put the link in the description below you can download the same image now here we need only these buildings and house so we don't need any sky and mountain so just select polygonal lasso tool and make a rough selection of your So once you got the selection, zoom out by holding Alt and your mouse wheel and then just hold Shift key and click and double click. You need to double click here. Then you will get the selection like this. Then just right click on your image, click on rasterize layer and delete this press ctrl d and now let's add the mountains and do it like this hit ok now drag this layer below the house images so let's work on the color so first of all select this go to here and choose brightness and contrast and decrease the brightness and also contrast so just click on this icon so the effect will be applied on the image only click on this white mask and press b to select brush tool and choose here black color and just do like this perfect and i think we can little bit large it like this and move it here okay and then let's work on this background so go to filter and camera raw filter now here we need some color correction so the house image is a little bit are yellowish so we need to give some yellow in the background also so just increase the temperature a little bit and just play with these settings all right then it's time to write the text so just press t and click and type here and my font name is impact you can get this font from the internet and press v press ctrl t and large it now press ctrl a and go to move tool click on this icon press ctrl d now click on this layer go to effects and click on blending options now here just focus on these slides drag these something like this and press alt on your keyboard then drag this point 
and just increase this now what we need here just these edges should be smooth so just play here with some settings All right, I think this is fine and you can see the settings here. Now hit OK and then here just duplicate this image by pressing Ctrl G. Now you have a duplicate of these mountains layer and then create a mask here and you have a white simple mask. Now just press Alt and delete and your mask will be black something like this so you can try ctrl plus delete and alt plus delete so we need black color mask here and then just drag this layer all above the layers then click on this mask press b and decrease the size of the brush and just brush here by white color right now i have a black color here so just exchange this like this you can press x also and just brush here and if you think that your text is not visible because of white in the background so just you can double click on the camera raw filter and we can decrease the brightness like this and hit ok then you can see your text visibility and i think this is too much so yeah we can go to our text blending mode double click on this icon and we can change some settings and above that we can write the headline a little text so now here we need to give some lines so just select pen tool and here you need to choose white color and fill none so just one click and one click here by holding shift key on your keyboard to get a straight line perfect now click on move tool you can press ctrl alt and drag your mouse to duplicate the line like this now select the both the lines and this text and click on this icon and if you think the lines are too thin you can select both the layers the lines press a on your keyboard and then just increase the stroke size here by two perfect now it's fine and here we can put the light effect so just so just go to your browser and sunlight overlay and go to images and find a suitable image for your design yeah this one just right click copy image and come to all above the layers select the top layer and just press ctrl v press ctrl t now go to normal and choose the perfect to screen now click on this and press ctrl t and increase the size something like this and put it here create a new layer and press b right click hardness should be zero and increase the size now just you need to make sure that the black color is here so just swap and yeah we have a black color and just brush like this now decrease the opacity to 50 percent all right perfect now what you need to do just create a rectangle like this and round it fully 
now stroke will be none and open fill by any color like white like this black now press ctrl a and click on this icon to center our line press ctrl t now select the background these buildings layer this one and you need to select the effect also with the layer just select both the layers press ctrl j and drag them above all the layers like this and our rectangle is not visible the one which we have created just right now so just you need to make sure the rectangle is below the image and just hold the alt key on your keyboard and click on the between the layers like this now you can see here our rectangle perfect and then what we need to do just select this image right click first of all right click here and click on convert to smart object and then go to filter below and Gaussian below now here this much only hit ok go to filter again and noise add noise give here 3 and hit ok now I think this is good uh, we can give shadow also so just click on your this rectangle go to fx drop shadow to like this and I think I need to give blur a little much more so go to here Gaussian blur double click on that hit ok and increase the blur something like this hit ok ok now we can write here the text so just type here and change the color of the text to white hit ok now the text will be little like this press ctrl t and put it right there hit ok now just hold your ctrl key on your keyboard click on this thumbnail you will get the selection like this go to your layer the text one and go to move tool click on this now press ctrl d perfect now below that we can write the text as well this one So this is how we can create post something like this. And if you want to watch some tutorials about graphic designing like banner design, poster design and flare design, just check out my playlist. There are so many videos you would like.